Hi guys, Taz here from Wheels Up Boots On and today we are doing a geode. Oh yes, eventually. Right, so I am doing this on a, it's only like a practice piece before I do a big one and mess that up. So this is from Art Studio and it's a 20 by 20 and 1.5 centimeter high. And I got this in the range, but I'll be putting all that in the description below once I finish the video. Right, this is also one of my crystals I made from a mold. I got that in a video. I hopefully should have that uploaded before this. But this is one I've done myself. So I'm going to put, be putting that on there. So I'm going to glue that on beforehand as um, I'm going to glue that on beforehand and I'm going to try and stand this up and glue that on this end, I think, or I'll put it that way. I'm not sure at the moment. So what you've got to do first is prepare your canvas by painting it roughly the colours you're going to be doing it in the resin. So this is the start and it's all dry like I say I'm just going to glue these on I will make up the resin and I will then start showing you all the bits of glass and everything that I'm using with it okay right I'm gonna go and make up the resin I'll be back shortly right here's some of the stuff i will be using uh, it's all broken glass pebbles that I've done myself and I don't know whether I'm going to use the crystals or not and this is the mirrored glass so and hopefully some Epsom salts and I've kind of arranged everything the way I think I need at the moment I'm, I'm quite happy with that so I will add the resin now I've got to make it up I put the crystal there that I said I'd made remember and some of the broken glass so that's that's as much as and I'm going to add in some Epsom salts around here and here probably in here along just to edge off nicely and then we can add in the resin okay right I have mixed up the resin so I'm ready to pour all onto the little crystals and glasses and get them into place before I actually do any resin colours. So I'm just going to do a little bit of the Epsom salts and put it around the um, outline here. So I don't want to move this out of the way. I just need a little bit of work space. Sorry if you can't hear me too loudly, I've got a mask on. Um, do it with these smaller sticks. I had to get some more of these, I didn't think I'd use any. There you go. So what I'm doing is mixing up Epsom salts. So you'll have like the crystal bits on the end, like a, cross, a proper crystal look. Right, so I'm Let's try now <laughs> to place these around the edge. So that we just have a, a little edging of them, you know, so it contains it all in. A little fencing.
Right, I'm going to start applying some of the resin along all this, just drip it over it. Because if you pour it, it will make it move. So if you just drip it, because you've got tiny little, little bits of glass and beads and whatever. So you don't want them to move. So this is the easiest way just to drip it all over it and nothing moves. to keep these two little bits Once we're done, right, so I've got to put a little bit of black in here, a little bit of black in there, okay, so let's get going. Some marker powders, so we've got black from Shen, and we want a white, white also from Shen. which I'll add in with a bit of white so it's not too grey. We'll see. I'll see what it looks like. That should be enough. Add it in. If it's not, you can always add in. What you can't ever do is take away. To add in a little bit and go from there. So, this is it here. You've got to make this opaque, okay? Because it's on canvas, I need to put a tiny bit more in. It'd be different if you did it on, um, I don't know, a piece of plastic where you were making your own geode and you could have it see through then. Right, and then the 
this side. Okay, I'm gonna just turn it round so I can get the other side and make sure it's all completely okay. So I just turn that, even if I turn it to just there so I can see what I'm doing. for anything it's just that uh, oh, they're expensive <laughs> uh, right let's get the color white down we'll leave that there for a minute because I might add the white and gray white and black together instead of wasting it don't waste it okay so we need basically I need a line Jen. Don't mind this being actually I'll leave that a little bit because don't mind this being a little bit see through. Because it's going around where the black is. Oh, this is lovely, this. Oh, oh. Very shell-like. I love these mica powders. And it can be like a line running up. silver on there. I don't know whether oh, strange. Right, let's try and 
do this thinner. Yeah, that should be okay. Let's do it this way. Can you see it from there, guys? Twenties, because I need to see where I'm going. <laughs> Just do the grey. We got, we got enough, I think. I don't know. Let me just add a little bit. I'm going to make a little bit of white. Full. Like I say, you can always add more. What I like about these plastic things is you can squeeze any of the resin you've got by just squeezing it out like that. There we go.
not going to it's going to look a little bit plain until we get some lines in once this resin is dry and then we can add all the silver lines black lines white lines whatever you want to do i'm just here as a little guideline to say hey you know what these are the things you can do the rest is up to you right so that's finished for now we'll let this dry overnight I'm going to place it over there so it's not because what it'll do it will stick to this if I leave it right folks I'm gonna just give this a quick go about and then um, I'll be back here again tomorrow and show you what we've done okay bye bye morning everybody and welcome back and this is the next morning and yeah it's all dried nicely actually stuck to the cups a little bit what I'll do is hold on there a jiffy right I took it off the cups and um, <laughs> the white didn't stay very much but I'm not really too fussed about it, it was just a practice piece, so I don't know what to do about uh, I could put another layer on here, it's still soft so I've got to be very careful, <laughs> um, but it's only a practice piece and I think it's, I want to put a few lines in with the pens um it will you know it will just finish it off nicely i mean yeah but i i quite like it and i think for the first one it kind of It, it makes you a little bit more aware of certain colours maybe um, the silver was more empowering I don't know I only did a thin line of white so can't really expect too much but I'm very pleased with it and there's my little thing <laughs> that turned out really cool actually all I've got to do is tidy up these couple of little blips on it and yeah really happy with it it's all right for the first one the first of many hopefully okay um my next video I'm not sure on at the moment I don't know whether I'm gonna do a geode or I'm going to do one of the bottle arts with the um, like whiskey bottles and things like that I've seen online. So I'll have a think on that. And um, <laughs> obviously I'll get back to you with my next video. <laughs> but thanks. Um, please like the video if you like it, obviously. Um, subscribe if you want to. I will be getting more of these sort of videos out. And um, it helps with my, subs not subscription as such, but it would help me on um, YouTube if I have a few more subscribers. Um, but it doesn't cost anything, and I'm not asking for anything either. Just for you to come along, watch a couple of my little mad videos, and uh, leave any comments below. I swear I may have gone wrong with the white or things that you might have done a bit differently or suggestions on things that I should do in my next videos but please don't give too many negative things I don't thrive on negativity and I don't think many other people do too so but yeah just give me a few pointers if I've made a few mistakes and you would have thought ah oh, no I wouldn't have done it like that um, you can only learn from mistakes that's what I always say so until next time I meet you guys, ta-ta, thanks, bye-bye.
Right, I'm just going to run a couple of lines on this just to get practice more so than anything. Um, it's not like I can ruin it, can I really? It's only for, like I say, it's only a practice piece. But I thought I'd have a little try of this. So if I go from here. here so I've got to make sure that I can run it so what I want to do is just run it in the inside of here like that because I, I like that line that's already there so I don't want to take from that I might actually just run it inside here so if I start say go around that pit job done is done here and I think I might hang it like that that way what do you think it doesn't really matter anyway thanks guys off to our next one I'm so addicted to this now this is really calm and it's really nice I've really enjoyed doing this so yeah see you later <laughs> 